Hey, ditto. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I'd like to give a shout out to April. C.R. Barboni, and Danielle Kofrode. Thank you so much for your patronage this month and your generous support. It is 10.18 a.m. Hello, Simba. Where are you going? Are you going to sit over there? Okay. Simba says he wants to sit in view of the camera. So it's 10.18 a.m. and I was just sitting here reading an article and all of a sudden I looked and I had four cats sitting around me. Splash was here too, but when he saw the camera he walked away. So I got the camera and I thought we could hang out with the cats for a little while. So here's Boo. And Boo slept on the bed all night and he's a little upset that I got up early today. I don't know why I got up early. It was just one of those days where you get up early for no reason. So I did, and uh, he kept sleeping for a while, but uh, he says he's still tired, so he's going to make sure he takes a good nap today. Okay, Boo, you can do that. And here's Stella, and Stella slept in the penthouse on top of the armoire all night. And then uh, when I got up early and I turned the lights on, she came out of it and she jumped onto the bed and then she hung out on the bed for a while and then when i got out of the shower then she laid on my towel for a while she likes to do that she likes to lay on wet towels right stella yeah she likes that she says it's very comfortable and it smells really good it smells like soap and simba was looking out the window all morning and he's looking at the animals outside he says now that it's springtime there's more animals around there's more there's more birds and squirrels, and he's happy to look at them. And there's Splash. Looks like he has a feather from the boa over there. Splash wants me to tell you about something that he does that is new for him. So last night, Splash had a new first, believe it or not. So I was sitting on the sofa in the living room, and it's a sectional, and I was sitting in, like, the corner of the sectional, and I was really comfortable, I had my feet up, and Splash comes up to me and he meows at me. That's what he likes to do when he wants some crunchies, he meows at me. But yesterday I was really comfortable and I was watching TV and I didn't feel like moving right away. So to get my attention, Splash then jumped up on the couch next to me to get some pets. And he did it a few times, like, First he jumped on the couch, and he was actually shocked that he did it, so he jumped off right away. Then he walked around, then he came back, and he did it again, and he let me pet him. So Splash jumped up onto the couch next to where I was sitting, and he let me pet him. Then he jumped off, and he did the same thing. He roamed around the room, then he came back, he jumped back on the couch, let me pet him again, and then he jumped off. And that's huge for Splash, that was really big. And then, uh, then we all had crunchies. All the cats had crunchies. Right, Splash? Look at Stella. She likes to sit like a lady. Stella has learned how to fly off the cat tower and land on the bed. She says, Boo's not the only one who can do that. I can do that also. It's one of her new things. Simba and Stella are sleeping next to each other on the bed. 
They're sleeping cheek to cheek. And here's Boo, he wants pets. This is how Boo likes to sleep. He likes to use my hand as a pillow. Right now, he's resting on my wrist. How you doing, Boo? How you doing, Boo? We're going to relax a little bit because we were up early, okay? So we're going to just relax a little bit. We're making chicken soup right now, boo. There's a big pot of soup on the stove. Yep. I know you don't like chicken. These are the only cats that don't like cooked chicken. The outside cats do. Hydrox and Ditto will eat it, but the inside cats, they're spoiled. He looks very happy. It's 7.30 p.m. right now. There's Hydrox. He's hanging out in the bushes. Ditto's hanging out in the bushes on the other side of the house. I don't want to disturb him because uh, he's still very skittish uh, at certain times, and I don't want him to run away. And it's about 9.35 a.m. Boo's eating his breakfast in the living room because this is what he does. Simba's watching him, because if he walks away, then Simba will go and eat whatever he doesn't want. Simba also does not understand why Boo has to eat his breakfast up here every day. Why can't he eat with the other cats downstairs? Boo starts eating on the stairs, but he has to finish up here. Because even though Boo is a thug, he's very much a baby. And here's Hydrox. He's eating some homemade raw food that I just put out for him and Ditto. And there's Ditto. And today is going to be another rainy day. Yesterday it rained all day. And today it is going to rain again. There's a dinner plate from yesterday which needs to be cleaned up. If Hydrox finishes all that food, I'll give them some canned food. Hydrox finished all of the homemade raw food, so I just put out half of a can of Trader Joe's. And I'm feeding them on one big platter because they like to eat together. If I feed them on smaller plates, two smaller plates, they end up eating off of the same plate at the same time. So I'm using up these Christmas platters that I had, and I think these are the last platters that I have. I might have to, um, I don't know who sells them anymore, actually. I haven't seen them in stores. I might just buy, like, bigger round plates. Let's see, they're enjoying it. And I'm sorry, there's a reflection on the door. I just opened up another can of food. And they're enjoying this too. We must be expecting a lot of rain today because usually they eat like this before bad weather. Hydrox and Ditto are now on their fourth plate of food. I opened a big can of the Wellness Chicken Pate. So the last plate was Wellness and this is more Wellness. And hopefully this will be it for them because they've they've eaten a lot, but I don't think they ate much yesterday and they're probably just going to uh, hibernate the rest of the day because the weather's going to be yucky. It's 10.05 a.m. and this is what's left on the plate. Both cats have walked away. Ditto's drinking out of the raccoon water. I don't know if it's dirty or not because I did not give the raccoons any food yesterday. And Hydrox is in his shelter. He's uh, taking a bath. Um, so yeah, it's all good. There's Ditto. I don't know where he's going to go. I don't know if he's going to go in a shelter or if he's going to just wander around or hang out somewhere. Hey, Ditto! How you doing, Ditto? You want some more food? You're done? You're done? You're just coming to say hello? Okay, hello, Ditto. He looks like he's filling out a little bit. Did you want more food? There's food on there. You could finish the food that's on there. You guys had a lot of food today. It's 8.18 a.m. 
Look at Splash. He's still in bed. He looks so comfortable. We were all up really late last night, so all the cats are still sleeping in. Boo's up and Simba's up, but they're not, like, fully awake. They're watching birds through the windows. Good morning, Splash. It's about 12.30 p.m. right now. And I think Boo has fleas. So a few months ago, I noticed him itching a lot, but it was the middle of the winter and the windows were never really opened in the middle of the winter. And I don't think fleas are really active in the middle of the winter, so I didn't think it was fleas. And then this morning, I looked at the uh, white duvet cover where he normally sleeps and I thought I saw flea dirt on it. So I was like, oh no, I better go uh, get something for fleas. I didn't even think. I was just like, I'm gonna go get something for fleas. So I went to the pet store and I bought two options. One was topical and one was uh, oral, something that they ingest. And I was looking at the side effects. I was like, what am I doing? These are a bunch of chemicals and you know, I don't live in that world. I live in a world of natural health and uh, herbal remedies and stuff like that, where there are very, very, very few and very rare side effects. I was not happy reading the long list of side effects on the flea treatments. So then I went to another store that sells um, natural products or more natural products. And they're completely sold out of natural um, flea and tick prevention products. So I went to Vitamin Shop and I bought some B-Complex capsules to start putting that in their food. Also Hydrex and Ditto to put it in their food. And I also bought some for myself because in the past, uh, in the years where I was taking a multivitamin with a lot of uh, B vitamins in it, I never got mosquito bites. Like I never got any bug bites those years. So I'm thinking I'll even start myself on it. But one uh, thing I found out um, while I was um, browsing through the internet is that coconut oil uh, kills fleas. And uh, people have had a lot of success just rubbing coconut oil on their cats and they say uh, the fleas die after a few minutes. So um, I did that. I put some on Boo and that's why he's not too happy. Um, so I just warmed it up between my hands and then I rubbed it on his belly and at first he didn't know what I was doing and then he caught on to me. Uh, so then he like ran off and then I started uh, petting him again and if his fur looks like wet here it's from the coconut oil. So I was uh, rubbing it here like on the back of his his neck and everything. I was just trying to get areas where uh, fleas might tend to congregate which is usually like back of the neck, uh, like back of the ears around here and then on his belly and stuff. So he was not having it, he was not happy about it and he pretty much ran from room to room to try to escape me. Um, and I was just walking with my hand uh, out like, okay boo let me give you a pet but uh, he's smart and he knows better. So right now, I did not put any coconut oil on his arm, um, so he's grooming himself. Maybe I should get more coconut and put it on his arm, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Here's Boo, he's been hanging out on his day sofa and he's been letting me comb him with this flea comb. And this is the way to trick him to uh, put more coconut oil on. I uh, put some on the flea comb and then I comb him with it and he doesn't really know what's happening. So, I don't want to put too much coconut oil on him. Um, some people do. Some people put a lot on their cat, but then they have to give the cat a bath and Boo would not do that. So, I'm going to just put a little bit more on. I've uh, combed it through all of his, his, his fur. He really loves getting this comb. And I've not seen any fleas on this, so we'll see what happens. It's about 8 p.m. right now, and I just put a hummingbird video on the TV for the cats and they're all pretty engrossed in it. Boo's dragonfly toy is pretty much the same size as a hummingbird and I know I've seen some hummingbirds around here so I've always been kind of wondering if he really thinks it's a hummingbird instead of a dragonfly. So I just put some hummingbird videos on and the cats are enjoying it. So there's Stella, there's Simba, 
And here's Boo. He's been sitting on the scratch and roll with the arch. See how he's watching the TV? Yeah, he's really enjoying them. And I put the TV on because I need to keep the cats entertained because I need to get some cleaning done. I've also been battling ants uh, today and yesterday. So um, I'm still in the battle with the ants in the kitchen and um, I need to clean. So videos are always good for keeping cats entertained for a while. It's about 9.30 p.m. right now, and I'm making some pickled pom-poms. So I have this glass jar um, that looks very similar to the crunchy jars I use. And I have this pom-pom garland that I bought for Simbra a while ago. And he likes separate pom-poms better than the garland. So I've been uh, taking the pom-poms off the garland and putting them in this jar. There's actually some catnip in the bottom of the jar and I will be mixing up the pom-poms and the catnip once I fill up the jar with the pom-poms. But I think uh, it'll be really cute. I'm gonna put this on a, on a shelf and it'll be a jar of pickled pom-poms. Simba will like it. And uh, now when he wants a new pom-pom, I'll just open up the jar and he'll have a fresh pom-pom. Um, the other pom-poms that I have are downstairs um, and I have them in like a Ziploc bag with some catnip, but uh, this will be cuter and it'll be more convenient. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.